You're watching Pittsburgh Steelers Talk. I am Tom Downey. Here with some significant breaking news. We have a trade alert for the Steelers and a ton of roster cuts also made. We are three away from knowing the 53-man roster for Pittsburgh. This is exactly why you guys subscribe. Hit that big red button for free Steelers videos every single day. We're going to get to the 24-plus cuts made by the Steelers. But first, the trade alert. Malik Reed, the now former Denver Broncos pass rusher, is coming to the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was undrafted in 2019 out of Nevada and has fared very well for the Broncos. He had become a good rotational piece for Denver. But, of course, Bradley Chubb, Randy Gregory, and others had either A, already outplayed him or surpassed him on the Broncos depth chart. This is your new number three edge for the Steelers, a spot that the team has tried and failed a couple different times over the years to fill properly. Ah, you know, maybe it's Quincy Roche. No, maybe it's Gennard Avery. No, this, I think, is the actual answer in Malik Reed. As we sit here filming this breaking news, we do not have the exact uh, trade details, but it is going to be a late round draft pick. So seventh, maybe a conditional sixth, somewhere in that range. I don't think it's going to come in very high from a draft cost perspective in large part because, well, when you make trades on August 30th at the eve of roster cut down time, it's not a lot of picks going back as we even saw somehow with the wild Chauncey Gardner Johnson trade. Now, I want you guys to grade this trade for me. How do you feel about the Steelers acquiring a new edge rusher? A, B, C, D, or F? Let me know in the comment section. I'm going to give my thoughts here in a second, but I want to hear from you first and foremost. So head down to that pinned comment. Let me know how you grade the trade. A, B, C, D, or F? I'm a big fan of the move. This is, for me, at minimum a B, if not an outright A grade. I was very pleased with how Malik Reed has played overall in his career in Denver. And this is your new number three edge. Uh, teaser alert. This is what it's going to look like. Uh, we pulled off the guys who got cut. More on that in a little bit. Malik Reed, I think, will back up Watt and Highsmith via the number three rotational edge, which is exactly what Pittsburgh needed. They needed bodies. They needed depth at that edge position. They did not have... Enough. I mean, they already caught Rondell Carter. I like Derek Tuska, another former Bronco, actually, by the way. Funny how that turns out. But they needed more help in a pretty significant way. Here are the career stats for Malik Reed. 15 sacks over his career is pretty good for three years. Even if you're only getting three, four, five sacks, let's just say five, a nice you know number he had last year. I don't think he's going to be the eight-sack guy. That was a bit inflated relative to his pressure rates. But if you're getting five sacks from edge three, that's normally pretty good. Now, I will make this note. Malik Reed was the odd man out in Denver in terms of that rather deep edge rushing group. Bradley Chubb, Randy Gregory. They spent a second round pick on Nick Benito. I like Jonathan Cooper. They had Baron Browning now playing edge. They weren't going to carry six. Somebody had to go. It was going to be Malik Reed. But giving up a late round pick for a guy that's going to be your number three edge, I'm totally fine with for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, yes, he was going to get cut. I have no issues with that particular move. I want you guys to like the video, to welcome Malik Reed to Pittsburgh. Show him some love by liking this video, especially if you're a big fan of the particular trait. Now, we have Kenny Pickett jerseys on sale for you guys. When you head over to chatsports.com slash Pickett, our friends over at Fanatics have you guys covered. He's quarterback two. He's not going to be the starter week one. That's Trubisky. But I think we'll see Pickett at some point this year. So if you haven't already, go get yours today at chatsports.com slash Pickett. All right, now it's time for a lengthy and long list of roster moves made today by the Pittsburgh Steelers. A lot of them to break down, so make sure you're paying attention. First, the corners, or defensive backs, I should say. Lyndon Stevens, cut. Elijah Riley, Chris Steele, all gone. I'll make a general note right now. Keep an eye out for these guys finding their way to the practice squad at some point. Carlin's Platel, though, was waived injured, meaning if he clears waivers, 
he will. He will then revert to the team's 50 or to, to the injured reserve list. All right, linebackers, both edge and outside. The most notable cut, Buddy Johnson, the fourth round pick last year. His time is over in Pittsburgh on the active roster. Maybe a practice squad candidate. Uh, edges, James Vonters, Hamilka Rashid, Rondell Carter, Delonte Scott, also released by the Steelers. The only real surprise there is Buddy Johnson. Four defensive linemen also cut. Donovan Jeter, Khalil Davis, and Carlos Davis. The Twins do get released. Henry Mondo as well, cut by Pittsburgh. Don't worry, at the end of the video, we'll go through the depth charts as they sit right now just to help contextualize everything. Offensively, again, no real surprises here. Max Borgie's been released. That was duh. Tyler Sneed gets cut. So does Tyler Vaughn. So both Tyler at receivers have been cut. Cody White, tight end Kevin Rader, along with tight end Jay Sternberger. And then four offensive linemen here have been released. Adrian Ely, John LeGlue, Ryan McCullum, and William Dunkel, which again, not anything too shocking uh, from that standpoint in terms of the roster cuts there. So of the moves so far, which cut surprised you guys the most? I'm going to go with Buddy Johnson. I thought he'd make the team as a former relatively high draft pick. Clean team clearly likes um, Mark Robinson quite a bit from that perspective. But which cut surprised you guys the most? Now, as a reminder, as your votes come in, we are not done yet with roster cuts. The final one still have to happen today. Pittsburgh has three more moves to make to get down to the 53-man limit. So keep that in mind as we run through where things currently sit on the Steelers' depth chart and their 50, I guess, six-man roster for now. Three quarterbacks. I doubt you'll see any moves here. Mitch Trubisky, Kenny Pickett, and Mason Rudolph. Mm, that's your quarterback room. I think you can pencil it in, barring a surprise. Rudolph trade. Five-ish running backs. I'll, I'll include, we'll get to Connor here later. Derek Watt, your fullback. Four running backs. I don't know if they're all going to make it. Najee Harris, Jalen Warren, Will, Anthony McFarland, Benny Snell. So keep an eye out for maybe one move there between Snell and McFarland, potentially. Wide receiver, seven right now. I, I don't think they're going to carry seven. I can see someone getting released there. So Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, George Pickens, they're good to go. Keep an eye out for Calvin Austin being placed on injured reserve after being carried through initial roster cuts. You'd have to wave a veteran. I, I don't know, just maybe your long snapper, you wave him and then bring him back since no one's going to sign your long snapper um, or cut him if, he's a vet, uh, if, if there's a vested veteran. Sims Boykin, they could both make it. That's the spot to monitor. Tight end, I mean, pencil, or put it in ink actually. Pat Fryermuth, Zach Gentry, and Connor Hayward are certainly not going to be going anywhere. On the offensive line, it's nine right now. Dan Moore Jr., Kevin Dotson, Mason Cole, James Daniels, Ch Ch Chuck Sakura for Joe Haig, Kendrick Green, J.C. Hassenauer, and Trent Scott. I could see the Steelers monitoring the waiver wire here, but it's very tough for me to foresee them going with only eight offensive linemen. That's a very light number, so there could be some changes, but I don't think they'll end up you know, just cutting somebody from this. They'll have to add somebody else. Defensive line is seven deep right now, and I just don't, I don't think you can carry seven defense line. I think six is the magic number, so I'd watch for a move here. Obviously, Cam Hayward, Larry Ogunjobi, DeMarvin Leal aren't going anywhere. You could wave a guy like Tyson Alou, although, and then bring him back once you put someone on IR if you want to. Chris Wormley, Montrevis Adams, Isaiah Loudermilk. That's tricky there. The fact, by the way, that you've announced 24 of your moves and have three left, you're probably trying to trade somebody. That's probably what's going on there. The edge depth chart here, we kind of already teased it. So, hey, if you pay attention, you already know. TJ Watt, Alex Highsmith, Derek Tuska, Malik Reed with that addition. Five linebackers, Miles Jack, Devin Bush, Robert Spillane, Marcus Allen, and Mark Robinson. We knew Robinson would be on this team. The other, the choice to keep Allen over Buddy Johnson, that, that one surprised me in a pretty significant way from that standpoint. All right, the cornerback room, six right now, maybe a move coming here. Akella Witherspoon, Levi Wallace, Cameron Sutton, Justin Lane, James Pierre, Arthur Mallett in no particular order. That's the six at that perspective. And then we'll get to the safety room. 
where you've got Minka Fitzpatrick, Terrell Edmonds, Trey Norwood, and Miles Killebrew. Demonte KZ, folks, will be heading to IR, by the way. Uh, that one isn't a huge surprise. We, we broke that down yesterday that he's going to need wrist surgery from that standpoint. And then I'll just verbally mention, of course, your three special teamers. Presley Harvin the third, Chris Boswell, and long snapper Christian Kuntz as well. Now, that is where we sit right now. There are three more moves still to be made, and depending on what those are, we might break it all down again for you here on Pittsburgh Steelers Talk. We've got videos for you every single day, and if you made it to the end of today's video, that makes you a real one. So type in, here we go, in the comments section if you watch the entirety of today's vid.